A hundred years ago, Albert Einstein announced a new theory of gravity. Einstein suggested that matter and energy distort space and time. That meant that gravity would even bend light rays, pulling them into curved paths around massive objects like the sun or a black hole. The solar eclipse in 1919 dramatically confirmed his theory. Stars behind the sun appeared to shift from their fixed positions. Their rays of starlight bent slightly by the sun's mass. A century later, astronomers have learned to use even larger objects, galaxies, or even clusters of galaxies, to magnify distant stars that would otherwise be lost in the fog of time. How these cosmic telescopes work depends on how the stars are aligned. A distant star might appear several times, like pearls in a pattern called an Einstein cross. Recently, astronomers using the Hubble Space Telescope discovered an Einstein cross of a star exploding in a spiral galaxy far, far away. Light from the explosion is bent and magnified around a massive cluster of galaxies. Because the light in each image takes different paths around the galaxy, we see the same supernova exploding again and again. Astronomers think images of this same supernova might have been visible in a different spot in the sky 20 years ago, and they expect it to reappear in another place 10 years from now. Stars or galaxies not quite centered behind a gravitational lens may be spun into long arcing filaments but when a star is perfectly aligned behind a lens, it can appear as a complete halo, an Einstein ring. Einstein thought his theory of gravity was so beautiful that he once told a student that if it didn't work out, he would feel sorry for the Lord. He didn't have to worry. Einstein would have been 136 this month. The stars keep lighting candles for him. Happy birthday, Albert. <laughs>